name is Decker Rosenfeld. I completed my undergraduate and PhD degrees in biomedical engineering at the Technion, and then I moved to a postdoctoral research in MIT, combining material science and neuroscience. The field of bioelectronic medicine develops methods to activate organs in the body. In my lab, we develop functional nanomaterials in order to control the activation of electrogenic cells and organs in the body to control biological signaling. We mostly focus on magnetic nanoparticles in the lab and what we do is we functionalize them in order to use them in different types of biomedical applications. For example, we want to use them in order to have their heat dissipation, activating different types of ion channels such as the heat sensitive ion channels. These nanoparticles serve as transducers and they interact with magnetic fields and the properties of the magnetic fields that we apply on the nanoparticles will determine the type of transduction that they will perform on the cells that we are investigating. One of the major challenges in bioelectronic medicine is the need to implant hardware into the body and electrodes that sometimes can be attached to the organ or surrounding nerves. This is why we are trying to create same type of stimulation but with a minimally invasive approach with only placing nanomaterials or nanocomposites in the triggered area in the body and by using external signal to eliminate the need of implantation of any hardware. One example is activation of the vagus nerve. In order to activate this large nerve, we need to implant inside the body a cuff electrode and a battery. In my lab, we try to translate such approaches to directly trigger the end organ and to do it in a minimally invasive approach, causing minimal damage to the surrounding tissues. I returned to Israel about two years ago to open my lab in Tel Aviv University in the Department of Biomedical Engineering. Tukerman funded my dream lab in Tel Aviv University that allowed me to integrate those interdisciplinary backgrounds in one uh, space and Zuckerman also exposed me to a great network of researchers that I interact with and some of them even became very good friends. We have a challenge and this is to combine material science, the magnetic nanoparticles, the external signals that we apply on them, the electronics, and understanding the biological signaling that we want to activate. For that, we need to combine diverse fields with the interdisciplinary research. And this is what's unique in our lab. We have students from a material science background, from biomedical engineering background, electrical engineering background, and neuroscience background. And all of them together contribute to these efforts. These novel nanotechnologies will change the way we activate organs in the body and treat diseases. We believe that our novel nanotechnologies will affect millions of patients suffering from mental health disorders or injured tissues around the world.